Hi. Now, a while ago, I released my review of the um, the Vogue Ultimate Knitting Companion Completely Revised and Updated book. And then in that review, which took me about a year to put together and then even longer to upload, um, I mentioned the fact that this book had been released and I was ordering it. So I've ordered it. And so what I thought I would do today is to just do a comparison between the Vogue Knitting Ultimate Guide and the Vogue Quick Reference. First thing to notice is that one of them is a lot bigger than the other. So what's different between the two of them and which version would I end up recommending? So let's have a look. Now this book here is completely stunning. It's got everything you can possibly use in it. It's massive, it's got measurements, it's got calculations, it's got the works. It's got areas for working, which I would recommend uh, scanning and uh, printing out, that sort of thing. But it's got everything you could need for knit designing and stuff like that. If we have a look here at the ultimate quick reference, the first thing about it is that it's much, much smaller. It's also around about a quarter of the price, so that's worth noting. It's soft cover, but to be completely honest, it's got a lot of the same things. It's got knitting stitches, it's got how to do shaping, it's got how to do your changeovers. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really good little book. This one here I keep in my knitting bag and I carry it around a lot because it's got all kinds of things in it and it's easy to find. There's no faffing about. Um, it's not heavy in any way, shape or form. It's just useful. It's got things that you know, you need to know um, if we roll through here with buttonholes and inserting pockets and bands and ribbing and salvages, etc. Here we've got exactly the same information about measurements. So if we've got exactly the same information, mostly, as this other book, why would anyone buy the other one? Well, this one here I would recommend for anyone who's starting out or is just moving on from starting out and doesn't want to just rely on videos you find online. There's a couple of things about this book that I really enjoy, other than the fact that it's nice and small. One of them is right in the book. It's this fold-out flappy guide here, where it's got inches in a little window on one side, it's got centimetres in a little window on the other side, it's got all your needle shapes, all your needle shapes and sizes and gauges for US sizes as well as metric sizes. So this here is handy enough because if you're just starting out or you've got to the point where you're doing projects but you're having to rely on the number of tools that you don't have, this is a really useful tool to have. It was not particularly expensive as a book. It's particularly useful in its size, and then even just this cardboard flap at the back, this quick reference guide, is so useful for when you're doing gauging, or if you've worn your needles to the point where the uh, numbers come off, or if you're using an American pattern but you've got metric needles, you can work out what the size is quite simply. For those of us in New Zealand, that's a really useful thing because American patterns don't work well because we don't do imperial measurements. So would I recommend this book? Wholeheartedly. Uh, this one here is fabulous. I would totally recommend that everybody has a copy of it, to be completely honest. Put it in your knitting bag, carry it with you. It's a handy reference. It's got some useful stitches that you might want to change things over with. It's got the real basics. It's got things that are useful to know, like your Russian joins. It's got all the bits where you suddenly turn to a pattern and there isn't a, a strongly worded, how do you do the center double decrease? It's covered in here. It's cheap, it's soft cover. You're not too worried about destroying it or opening it all the time. It doesn't have the same level of weight and heftiness that the giant book has. Does it have everything that the other book has? No. But it has everything that you need and then some useful features such as the gauge guide at the back, which would make it fabulous. So Vogue Knitting Quick Reference Guide, 10 out of 10, recommend.